I cannot create in mess, so for me it is important to keep my sewing space neat and well organized. With sewing, this can be a little bit of a challenge, so here are seven things that I implemented in my sewing space to keep it more functional, better organized and less chaotic. Number one is this cart for iron. This is my latest purchase, this is why I'm so excited I put it in the first place because I simply love it so much. Recently my old steam iron of seven years broke down so I decided decided to replace it with a professional steam iron. Now the problem is that the professional steam iron is slightly bigger so I cannot put it away as easy as I could with the previous iron. So I decided to go ahead and I ordered this cart from IKEA. It was 25 euros and it's fully metal and it works so great as my ironing station. Now the favorite part is that at the top the space is big enough to fit my entire iron and because it has wheels I can move it to any place I want or if I'm done ironing I will just roll it out of the way and place it somewhere in the corner. It also has shelves that I use for storage. In the middle shelf I keep my sewing toolbox which I will talk about in a minute and at the bottom I either keep the project that I'm currently working on or fabrics that I plan on cutting like next week or so. Now when you're setting up your ironing station and your ironing board I do recommend creating an L shape with your sewing table. So when you have your sewing table you sew a seam and then you just simply move here and you have your ironing board, your iron somewhere close and you can go ahead and press that seam without having to go somewhere else. So if you have space create that L shape with the ironing board and your sewing table is definitely a very convenient way for setup. Second important thing in my sewing space is of course lighting. Good lighting is key when creating a comfortable area for sewing because if the area is not lit properly it just strains my eyes so bad and here in Lithuania especially now that we're moving in the winter season it gets dark so early in the day or if the day is gloomy it feels like I need to use the lamp the entire time. So on my industrial sewing machine I have this lamp right here that I absolutely love. It has 2200 aluminum and it pours concentrated light to this small area making it very very well lit. Now one note about this particular lamp is that it's mounted on the table and it's not self-standing. So in case of this table right here it works well for me because I can very securely attach it to the table and it doesn't move. However on my second sewing table which also works as my video editing table, as my surging table, as my embroidery table, as my pattern making table, I cannot attach this lamp simply because that table is very very functional and I have to switch from task to task. So whenever I'm working in my second sewing space which is literally like one meter away from me right here I use a ring light. I have a ring light because I create content and I use it whenever I'm filming videos to make lighting a little bit better. Now the good thing about the ring light that it's super bright and this particular one that I have is dimmable but the maximum light source is 4800 lumen. So there's a a lot of light and you can move the lamp anywhere it has its own stand and you can lower it or raise it to really fit the place where you want to lit the area. So this is a little bit of an untraditional way to use the lamp for the sewing space but I love it it works so so well plus I use it to create content as well. 
Third thing that I use in my sewing space and absolutely love is this clear toolbox. Now, of course, you can use any type of toolbox for this, but the ones in the hardware store, I didn't really like the design. So when I saw this clear one on Amazon, I went ahead and purchased it. I also like that it has these layers that when you open the box, they raise up and it helps me organize my sewing essentials a little bit better. So in my sewing toolbox I use the key key essentials. I use various marking tools, my measuring tape, sewing gauge, different presser feet for industrial sewing machine, a few different tapes that I use all the time. Of course my scissors, measuring tape, my bobbin box and my sewing essential box. Having this toolbox allows me to keep all my sewing essentials in one place very neatly organized and when I want to move from one sewing table to the other sewing table I can very easily move everything I need with me. Now let's move along and number four is how I store teeny tiny items. One of my favorite items that I have is the bobbin box. It allows me to very neatly store my bobbins and because of the clear cover I'm able to see what kind of thread I have winded on the bobbin. I use one side of the box to store the industrial bobbins and the other side to store the embroidery machine or domestic sewing machine bobbins. And the second way how I store teeny tiny items is actually a small lunchbox. I had this box with me since I started sewing school and what I keep here is a thread spool with a hand sewing needle all of my pins and also used needles. I like that this tiny box has a secure lid so even if the box drops my sharp objects will not be falling around the floor. This was a temporary solution that I started using like eight years ago but I liked using it so much I use it to this day. Fifth item in my sewing space that makes sense is how I manage waste. So there are a few ways is how I manage waste in my sewing space. The main one, the biggest one, is I have a trash can under this sewing table. It's nothing pretty, but it works whenever I have a larger item that I need to dispose. Like maybe I have a larger scrap of fabric, so I will put it here so that it's not rolling anywhere on the floor. The second way how I manage waste is whenever I'm sewing and I clip thread end, I have this tiny open cup and I just put that thread end right here so that everything is stored neatly in one place and when I'm done sewing I have a lot of thread ends I simply dispose it in the trash can. And third way how I manage waste is whenever I have a broken needle, an old needle or a bent pin I use a tic-tac box and put them all inside that box. And I like to collect all those old old sharp objects in one box and later safely dispose it because directly putting sharp object in the trash can just gives me too much anxiety. Item number six that I have in my sewing space is how I organize my fabrics. So to store my fabrics I have two large boxes with lids. One box is filled with fabrics that I have never cut before and the second box is filled with larger fabric scraps that I can use for some project and also linings. As you can see both of these boxes are filled which means that I now can not buy fabric until I reduce my fabric stash. Seventh and final thing that I have in my sewing space is the box with interfacings. Now the thing about interfacing is that they all look quite similar. So what I like to do is whenever I buy a new interfacing, I take a small sticker and write what exactly that interfacing is. For example, if it's uh, water soluble interfacing, if it's knit interfacing, if it's interfacing for coats or something like that, I will stick it on that 
add piece of interfacing and then I will store everything in one box. As you can see, I have tons of different types of interfacing and having this system allows me to store everything neatly and find the right interfacing whenever I need to use it in the project. I do plan on making a separate video about feasible interfacings because as you can see, I use quite a lot of it. So here are seven things that I use in my sewing space and it makes my life a little bit more organized. I would love to hear how you organize your sewing space, so please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!